The 90s are back at Philip Wim. I'm Annie Tomlin at New York Fashion Week. The inspiration for spring was the rocker girl, girls who play in bands, girls who go to Coachella, and girls who look really good while doing it. It kind of brought me back to where I was in the 90s when I was in high school as a grunge girl. So this is a very modern take on that. She's not your old school grunge, more of a new school grunge. The makeup featured clean, sun-kissed skin, but really it was all about the eyes. They used not one, not two, but 10 to 12 coats of mascara to get this look. Where all the drama lies is in the eyes and the eyelashes. We wind up curling them with two coats and then clumping them together to give a kind of modern day rocker feel, but yet to have it like a, an air of sensibility. The influences read like a who's who list of girls with guitars. A lot of Nirvana. I was uh, a little bit of Kim Gordon from Sonic Youth, even the Runaways from the 1970s. You have like little hints, you know, of like Lita Ford, Joan Jett, Courtney Love, Liz Fair. Like you have these rocker girls, but done in a very modern way. When it came to the manicures, two different polishes were used to create a shadow effect. I would sum it up as fun, edgy, and a little retro. With messy textured hair, that rocker girl eyeliner look, it's clear that even down to the nails, Philip knew what he wanted. It was really great to work with Philip on the nail look. And they kept saying, you know, we want to kind of create an edge and a, and a shadow, something kind of subtle, like a subtle, edgy knit look to the nail. The dream of the 90s, it's alive and well at Philip Wim. I'm Annie, and keep watching Bella Sugar TV for all the news straight from New York Fashion Week. I know you think it's all right.